How you doing today? This is Vincent again from uh, NewbieWebDesign.com The best free web design resources for anyone who wants to build a website, especially beginners. And you know, you can search and search through a lot of websites that list every so-called free graphic program. Or you can visit my site, NewbieWebDesign.com and find only the best free and useful graphic programs that I use and no work. And these are programs any beginner who wants to build a web page can use. Along with these programs are links to the best video tutorials for each program. Now today I'm going to give you an overview of Trout's GIF Optimizer, a freeware program to create smaller GIF files and make web pages load faster. Now when you build a web page, we want it to load as fast as possible for our visitors. So we need to make sure the file sizes of our JPEG images or our GIF images are as small as possible. So Trout's GIF Optimizer does just that for GIF images or graphics. Now before I get started, I want to mention this video is being created with Cam Studio. It's a free open source program that anybody can use and download to make their own videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is what the program looks like once we open it. I'm not going to tell you where to find it and uh, how to download it and how to uh, uh, open it up. Uh, just go to Google or any browser and uh, you can find it, download it, open it up and uh, try it out. Okay. Now, one thing I want to mention, just to be on the safe side, always back up your images or graphics before you work with any graphic program. Okay, now there are four ways to get an image into this program. One is to click on Open Files button, find a file, and hit OK. Another way we can do it is to drag and drop, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to drag and drop this into the program. And we'll talk about this in a minute. The third way is the select folder button, which is this right here. So we can find a folder and then uh, click open to get the image into the program. And the final way is we can uh, paste from a copy on a Windows clipboard into the program. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this image. Now this button, sh if we click on it, shows us the original image and the optimized image and there's really not much of a difference here. So the original, the optimized. This here shows us the total bytes we have on this image before we optimize it, what it was afterwards, and how many bytes we saved. So this does the same thing here. Started out with around 17,535 bytes, saved seven bytes, which isn't much, but every little bit helps. And if we actually do save uh, bytes, there'll be a check mark in this box. If we don't save anything, that'll be blank. But we did save seven uh, bytes and so th there's a check mark there. Now another way we can reduce some of this uh, image file is by clicking on color reduction and getting ri rid of some of the colors in the, in the image. And so I'm going to click on 128. Now we have a savings of about 32 percent. The original size at 17,000 around 500 down now to 11,800. So again a savings of about 32 percent. There's some other things you could do here and I'm not going to get into them. You can take a look at them yourself. Okay, These are just some things you can do uh, to maybe uh, reduce the file sizes of your images. So let's go ahead and save that and hit OK. Okay, that's basically 
uh, the way it works. Now sometimes you may want to see what an image looks like on different backgrounds. So what we could do is go over here, click on this, change the color of the background, let's do it again, okay. Now when you save the image, that background is not going to show up, it will just be this image right here. Okay, uh, another way we could do that is right click here, go to background, choose our color, hit OK, and we can see what that looks like on the green background. Now let's go ahead and uh, save this image here. Now we could go to file, select a fo folder, or hit save, or we can go here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this back into its, the folder I got it from and hit yes and it says I already have the same file there I don't care I'm going to overwrite it hit yes and now there is the image I just optimized so very simple to use there's not a lot of little things you can do here but I'll let you take a look at it yourself okay Okay, again, I want to thank you for taking a look at this uh, video. I hope it helped you a little bit, at least introduce you to this program if you haven't seen it before. It comes in really handy. Uh, and uh, take a look at my website. You're not going to just find programs about graphics. You're going to find web design tips, tutorials, uh, where to find free uh, web page editor editors, and I'm talking about the best free ones. You're going to find places to find free graphics and photos, I mean free, and uh, a lot of great free graphic programs. You're going to find places uh, with great video tutorials for your graphics, for web design, etc. Uh, you'll be able to download different uh, things from my website. And, uh, and you'll also find a lot of uh, links to useful websites that will help you build and design your own web pages. So again, thanks. Have a good day and uh, thanks for stopping by.